SEO Barnabas Thomas with Envoy responding to the Singapore event. The time is 1800 hours and this is my final assessment with Witness 108, whom we have identified as Plana Native, the first and only. The purpose of this assessment is to determine if the witness can explain the event. We have no reason to believe the witness is responsible for the event and at this time we will be questioning them as a civilian non-combatant with little to no threat to planar integrity. Bring the next one. Hello. Please sit. I'm Senior SEO Barnabas Thomas of the Prime Corps and I'll be interviewing you today. We know you're confused. So are we. There are 108 of you who seemingly do not exist. Who all suddenly appeared out of thin air on an island that is uninhabited. Further, the land that you apparated on, this land is protected by NPARCs and the National Biodiversity Center under Singapore's Parks and Trees and Wildlife Acts. That is why we were alerted. Now, if this were just you, or even a handful of you, the Prime Corps probably wouldn't have been asked to intervene, but there are 108 men and women here who are either supposed to be dead or don't exist at all. Not a single trace in any law enforcement database, national registry, census record, nothing. 108 ghosts by all insane accounts. Yet here we are. And you are the only one who we can identify. How can you not explain that? Please calm down. You're not in any trouble. <sighs> no. I can't let you go. At least not yet. Within 24 hours, I have to explain what's happened here and recommend, or if it is the case, disregard for the need for investigation and I have to justify that recommendation and I right now am very grumpy because I don't have a freaking clue what has occurred here except that it's creepy as hell so believe me when I tell you that we are just as confused as you are but know this we know who you are we found your name, we know where you're from, the sooner we unravel this, the sooner everyone can go home. Don't you want to go home? Hey, hey, why are you, hey, it's gonna be, it's gonna be okay. Can I get some tissues here? Who, who's, who's dead? No, everyone isn't dead. A lot of them survived. What do you mean? I don't... You're here. I'm here. Hey. Hey, hey, look at me. Look at me. Someone give me a fucking tissue! Thank you. Here. Here, take it. Look at me. I'm sorry. Okay, I... I'm not trying to play hardball with you. Just... Look at me, all right? We're gonna be okay. I'm just a little frustrated. I'm sorry. All of these people I hear who are just as confused as you, they're with you. But I need you to help me understand. An explosion where? No, there was no explosion here. Wh what do you mean, not here? You just said there was an explosion here. But not here? That doesn't make any sense. Hey, hey, somebody get me some water. Okay. All right. 
If there was an explosion, thank you. Here, drink. You're welcome. If there was an explosion, there's no evidence of it. There's no debris. What exactly is supposed to have exploded? A, re a reactor. No, there's no reactor here. There's never been a reactor here. No, look around. It's just a bunch of confused people. Some of them are dead. Even more are injured in some way. But almost everyone who is conscious is going to be okay. And I know that for certain. Can you tell me how those people died? The ones that didn't make it? No, it was not an explosion. There's no signs of burns on any of them. Uh, okay, okay. I believe you. I, I believe you. I just... I just don't understand what you're telling me. Fell from where? Okay, so you're saying, you're saying there was an explosion here, and then it wasn't here, and those people, what, they fell from, from some distances above, with like stories in a building, or, or like in a facility? Would house a reactor. Um. What? What does that mean? Okay, okay, okay. You were here. And suddenly. You were somewhere. A different here. <laughs> This reminds me of something. I hoped it wasn't tied to this, but the details you're giving us track with a phenomenon that began long ago. Ceres in Prime Core was assembled in the first place. That was an accident once upon a time. Uh, maybe not an accident, but like... A fluke. An experiment back in the 80s. Do you know what a tetraneutron is? It's a fundamental particle. Meaning they can't be broken down any further into other base particles. They are subatomic building blocks. Quarks are fundamental particles that composite all known matter. And they're always the same. Three quarks, one up and two down for neutrons. One down and two up quarks for protons. You following? Just stick with me. That was an initiative in the day to prove the existence of tetraneutrons, a theoretical stable cluster of four neutrons, something our model of nuclear forces says is impossible. But the team collided beryllium and lithium nuclei and observed the spray of particles resulting looking for this same impossible composition of four neutron clusters many debate what happened next or how it happened but a fluke collision sprayed across the lab and formed warped matter in midair like a mesh of impossible subatomic clusters compositions of particles that shouldn't have been able to exist and together ripped into space like a kind of wormhole into somewhere like here but not here no i know i i know i believe you i'm not i'm not saying you're making up science fiction and there's no reason for me to believe that you knew about any of this but i think this is what happened to you you warped here 
We say none of you belong here because you belong to a different here. And you are the anomaly because of all these people, you are the only one who we can prove does exist here, or at least a different you. I don't think your reactor exploded. I don't think you were sitting on a reactor at all. I think your reactor was actually a particle accelerator. The explosion you witnessed must have been a huge spray of tetraneutrons ripping apart that warped you here at the exact moment of subatomic impact. Somewhere out there, in a different there, there's a blown up nuclear facility completely devoid of any bodies or evidence anyone there even existed because those bodies that should be there are all of you and you're all here. We're going to have to catch up on details regarding what happened leading up to the accelerator's use. I'm assuming it wasn't you. Whoever it was, you were trying to stop them, weren't you? Can you tell me about them? Okay, it's, it's okay. I'm afraid anything warp related automatically warrants indefinite investigation. So I'm going to let you go, but we will need you to answer more questions and you will need to be available to us when we do. Do you understand? Okay. I'll get started on your discharge paperwork while you prepare for transport home. What? Oh. Okay, uh, well, all of these good people, these ghosts with you all need interim room and board, so we're taking them back to HQ while we figure out what to do with them. If you want, you can come with. You can stay with the Prime Corps. Listen, you've been a big help. Even if you don't think you have, I, I have a better picture of what happened here. I've never met anyone who warped and stuck around to chat with me. Suffice it to say, most warpers are bad news. So, oh, I'm sure that you will be a big help. And I thank you for cooperating. All right. SCO O'Shea! Please prepare this witness for hospitality at HQ. Once I finish my preliminary report, I'll send you the intake papers and we can talk more comfortably there. Okay. Good. Thank you again. This is SCO O'Shea. He's going to take good care of you. Kieran, let the rest of the envoy know that we're done here, all right? Prepare to go home. Hey. Hey. Look at me. If you ever need me, just tell someone that you want Senior SEO Barnabas Thomas. They'll know. It's going to be okay. I promise. I'll see you soon. Update. It has been 28 days since Witness 108 came to the Prime Corps. The witness displays some extra planar abilities as well as a genius level IQ. With no way to send them back to their home plane, Witness has since been partnered with SCO O'Shea to head R&D in the Extra Planar Artifact Recovery Division. We'll update on their progress at their 45-day assessment. 
This has been a Tom Banter audio production. Copyright 2023. All rights reserved.